Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to do a flip through of my Studio Calico October Traveler's Notebook. It is all done and beautiful, very bulky. I love it when my Traveler's Notebooks turn out to be really bulky. That means there's a lot of love in there and memories to share. Now, I do wanna answer a few questions that I get a lot here on my YouTube channel. A lot of people ask me if I document my photos in chronological order and I do not. Um, I feel like if you do that and you put restrict yourself and put some rules on yourself, uh, it becomes harder to create. Now, I don't like rules. Um, I don't put any rules on myself. I just document what I want to document. Now, since I um, started getting the traveler's notebooks from Studio Calico, I did start kind of documenting month by month. And I'm really enjoying that. I feel like I finish um, my traveler's notebooks faster. And like if I want to look through what we did in December, I just grab my traveler's notebook, my December one, and look through that. So I'm really enjoying documenting monthly more than kind of just documenting whatever in whatever traveler's notebook, if that makes sense. So that's all I do. I literally just document that month wherever I want. I just choose the pattern that I feel like matches my photo and document it. So definitely do not document date by date. And um, sometimes I add dates, sometimes I don't add dates. It just depends. Uh, I really feel like I can always look through my photos on my phone or my laptop and figure out this like exact date, but I don't feel like I need that. So if I forget to add dates, it's not a big deal for me. Anyways, enough of that. Let's start, let's start going through this traveler's notebook. Like I said, this is October, 2018. This was journal number 22. Now for my first spread, I was documenting, kind of cozying up and reading a book. Uh, nothing special, I love to read and I love to document myself reading. So um, I just used some Kelly Perky Christmas theme stamp sets. I forgot the name of the stamp sets. Anything that I share here on this video, I will add a link in the description box for you guys. But I am a big fan of using your stamps even if they're themed on non-themed layouts. You do not have to use theme stamps just on a themed layout. Uh, think outside the box, use your stamps. And I always, like I've said this before, I'm not huge on themed layouts. I never was since the day I started scrapbooking. Um, I didn't go all out and buy like Halloween stamps and just use them for Halloween layouts. I will use my Halloween stamps on all kinds of different layouts. I'll figure out a way to use them. So definitely recommend doing that. This next spread, I was documenting a text message from my son. I love documenting my son's text messages. They're very cute, they're very sweet. They're sometimes very funny, like he sent me this photo of himself, his friend drew on his face. And with a little bit of texting, I just added it on a tag and slipped it in this little pocket. These are really old pockets from Studio Calico. I think they've been in my stash for like years, so I was able to use one of those. I also just stamped, um, used my alpha stickers to uh, spell out the best text ever and added a little sticker right there. I also stamped using my Kelly Perky FaceTime stamp set. I don't think that stamp set is available anymore. But if it is, I will add it in the description box. But I just did kind of like a, a messy stamping thing right behind my photo. I did share this one on YouTube. I do have a process video for this one. I was using some die cuts and I just used some of my scrapbook.com like double adhesive, which is perfect for die cuts, especially these really thin ones. And I just added some stars and hearts and added you are unique um, to this photo of my son and his friend. They did such a good job in the marching band show. And I stamped out you inspire me right up top. I was trying to cover up the advertisements that were on the field, I just didn't like how that looked, so I just thought that was a good idea. This next spread, I was documenting my son's dedication to marching band. This kid goes through at least uh, four to five pairs of sneakers throughout marching band season. 
they're always torn, always have holes. It's ridiculous. And so I just journaled about that. I stamped out Stay Dedicated, added some hearts, added my acrylic piece from Colorcast Design. I love Colorcast Design's acrylics. They make the perfect, like, simple embellishment, but very bold. So you don't really have to add a lot to add something to your spread. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Just um, having this simple spread and adding that here and there made such a big difference. I was documenting my daughter's birthday, her turning 14. I just journaled about that in these little boxes. I believe I used a freckled fawn uh, traveler's notebook kit, one of the bundle kits, and just used my alpha stickers to, ha to add happy birthday. I believe everything on here was from freckled fawn. Just the stamp uh, that was from Carrie Bradford. I love her stamps. I'm a huge fan. Kept this one simple, documenting my daughter and I dressing up at Halloween. We just go through Target's <laughs> aisles and try out everything. And um, because the spread, like this pattern paper from the Traveler's Notebook um, was very simple, I just thought I'm just going to keep it simple because my photo is large. I used a color cast acrylic piece that says Cherish, and I stamped out this moment. So it just said Cherish this moment. Added a little sticker and called it done. Now this next layout, I was documenting myself voting. And this was part of the pattern paper from the Traveler's Notebook. It had this banner that said, this is now. And all I did was I cut my four by eight photo to fit into the box. And then I trimmed it down to go above the banner and under the banner. So there's just a little piece under the banner. Kind of looks like, you know, I added that banner. So I tried to kind of play with the patterns sometimes. And I really like how that looks, even though it's slightly... Like it's, you can't really see it, but I like it a lot. And I used my Kelly Perky vote stamp and I stamped the donkeys and the elephants in a really, really light gray. I don't know if you can see that. And I just did a little pattern at the top and the bottom and then stamped with that same stamp set, election day, vote, don't boo, vote, and all that stuff in 2018. Really love this spread. I always say this, you don't have to go all out to create something beautiful and nice. It can be very simple, but yet you're able to document those moments and cherish those moments. Um, I'm a huge fan of simplicity, and I'm also a huge fan of adding embellishments and creating la layers to your photo and your layout. So you can do both and enjoy both and still have beautiful spreads, if that makes sense. So I definitely recommend if you want to document your photos, but you feel like you are not big on layering or you don't know how, you really don't have to. I didn't layer my photo. I just used my stamps and created something beautiful. Another simple layout. Love this black uh, pattern paper on the left side of my spread. So I really didn't want to cover that up. All I did was use my color cast design wood veneers. This was the Halloween themed and I used a few of those to add to this little sentiment here. And I added a four by eight photo of my kids and I and just stamped out happy Halloween with I believe one of my Kelly Perky stamps. This next one, I'm documenting my son at marching band. And all I did was, this was part of my pattern paper. I used the stars that came in the Studio Calico kit and just trimmed them off and added them to the edges of my layout. And then I stamped a bunch of like little phrases that uh, matched my photo and kind of represented my photo. And I believe the stamp set was a part of this kit. So it was perfect. I only used the kit to create this spread. And I just stamped out, you are pure magic, full of stars, one of a kind, unstoppable, so bright. Um, very simple. This literally probably took me like 15 minutes to do. Now for this spread, I went ahead and used some Studio Calco Alpha stamps and stamped out halftime is our time because that's how I feel as a marching band mom. I also stamped out best of the best. These stickers were from a Kelly Perky kit, I believe the FaceTime kit. Now I've said this before, in my Studio Calico, I still like to play around with the patterns. I, ch I like to change it up a little bit. A lot of people are using the Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook. So it's nice to kind of make it your own and not kind of look at everybody else's spread and 
imitate it, I guess. So I like to play around with it a little bit. Now, what I did was uh, this pattern behind my photo just had this half circle and the rest was just plain white. What I did was I trimmed around my half circle and slid my photo underneath it and just stapled it. Now, I can do that because I knew I was going to be using a large photo that would cover the stapling and it would cover, you know, me cutting through the paper and all that stuff. So uh, you can always think ahead of time if you wanted to do something like this. Just look at behind yeah. kind of look and see what you can do on the opposite side of your spread. Um, especially like if you didn't like the pattern behind it, you can stick two spreads together or two pages together or cover it with a large photo. I love documenting what I'm watching at the moment and that's what I did. I'm constantly doing that in my Studio Calico spreads. If I see the day one through seven or the days of the week, I will use it to document what I'm watching or reading or any case, anything like that. So what I did was I used my color cast design wood veneers. I added the little popcorn. I just added a label behind it, added a few little sentiments with my color cast design wood veneers. Uh, this little stamp set of the TV set was from Studio Calico. It's an old one. I don't know if they still have it, but if I do find it, I will add the link in the description box. And I just stamped out um, little sentiments. Probably also I stamped out like the shows I'm watching. Like right here, I stamped go where the Wi-Fi is strong. I should get up and get more snacks. Little things like that uh, just to document what I'm watching at the moment. In this next layout, I was documenting my daughter's birthday wish list. Uh, she has an expensive wish list, you guys, and I wanted to document that. So I typed it out on a little cardstock, a piece of cardstock. I used my one of my color cast design frames and acrylic pieces, added the acrylic piece inside my frame. So and then I used my um, little alpha stickers to add birthday wish list right now and then i had my little wish list on the bottom she wanted a new iphone she deserves it so we got her a new iphone for her birthday and i used another wood veneer to add shopping so just kind of documenting her moment when she got her new iphone another photo of her on her birthday i love this spread i love how simple it is how easy it came together i used my studio calico kit um, I believe everything on this was from my Studio Calico kit, kit, but the birthday girl stamp, that was a Kelly Perky. I believe that's the Cobble Hill. I used the stars um, to darken the left side of my spread um, just because my photo was really dark. I also used the little labels from the kit to add some yellow to the opposite side. I stamped on my plate. Love stamping on my plates. I got that from Kelly Perky. I think we all did. <laughs> Everybody now stamps or writes on their plates. I also just journaled on some vellum and added that to my spread. I just love this layout so much. I love the photo of her blowing out her candle. In this next spread, I was documenting my son and his friends getting honored or being honored. And I used my freckled fawn bundle kit. Um, the wood veneers were from that kit, the papers, and I just used the washi tape to add layering to my photo. I used the alpha stickers to add job well done, and I added some journaling to kind of document what happened that day. I believe even the labels were from Freckle Fawn. I did use a Carrie Bradford stamp set and stamped out Hey You. I love that stamp set. I'm going to share that with you guys. This is the stamp set from Carrie Bradford. I love the font on here. I love that you can kind of add um, life is so good. And then you can add this is life, let's say or this is wild. I just really like the little sentiments that you can add to those larger um, stamps and I really, really enjoy them. You can see how beautiful that Hey You looks on that label. Uh, but anyways, let's move on. This next spread, I was kind of documenting Halloween and my kids dressing up. I journaled about that. I stamped using some Kelly Perky stamps. Actually, this is the paper is also from a Kelly Perky Traveler's Notebook kit. And I just stamped Halloween, best of 2018, October, Wednesday. And I made a little card using a stamp set from Kelly Perky. 
I believe these stamps are still available. I will add them in the description box, but I love the stamp set. You can stamp out the box and then stamp little sentiments to go inside the box and you can kind of tick off what you want. Now, I did have some bleed through from the opposite side of my spread, but that doesn't bug me. I still love this layout. It's one of my favorites in this traveler's notebook. Now this next layout, I was documenting my favorite blankie and I used some Feed Your Craft products. I believe the Traveler's Notebook papers and the stamps and all that are from Feed Your Craft. I used, I forgot the name of the stamp set from Feed Your Craft, but it has like these beautiful leaves and I just kind of built my leaves to match my patterned paper. I journaled about my favorite blankie and I used a little frame to add to my title. Now this next spread is just documenting my daughter getting a new pair of glasses. I used the ton stamp to stamp out this frame and it came with some die cuts. So I did um, use the die cuts to cut that out. And then I just stamped a few little sentiments from that stamp set. I also grabbed a piece of vellum and journaled about her photo added her photo and just a little chipboard. Now I did notice that when I'm working with dark pattern papers, I usually keep my layout very simple. And I believe I do that because I feel like the darkness of the pattern paper is too busy for the eye. So you kind of need to balance it out a little bit. So I definitely recommend if you have busy pattern papers or dark pattern papers to keep your spread simple using vellum uh, will help mute down the darkness and mute down the busyness. So um, try it out. I think it's a really great tip because um, it works for me and I always feel like my spreads turn out uh, or balance out nicely when I do use vellum on busy pattern papers or when I keep like one side of my traveler's notebook calm and simple, I guess. Now this is our last layout in my October Traveler's Notebook. Um, I do have a process video for this one. I said earlier that I have gotten into this thing where once I see the days of the week, I want to either document what I'm watching or what I'm reading. And I did this one where I kind of did a week in the life on one spread. And I fell in love now. It's like my new favorite thing. I've been doing it since and I'm really, really enjoying it. I just used a, a picture from each day and then I stamped out little things that matched my photo, added a few pieces of journaling here and there and some puffy stickers just to add some texture. And I love it so, so much. I added the October 2018. I did have a little boo-boo here where I stamped 2019, but I fixed it and stamped the eight right above that. But I love doing this. I did it in my November, I believe, and in my December. And I definitely recommend it when you, or if you are a subscriber to Studio Calico's Traveler's Notebook, you should definitely um, try it out and kind of document a week in the life in your traveler's notebook it was a lot of fun very easy very simple you don't have to worry about doing a whole album to document a week in the life but that is about it you guys we are done i love october's traveler's notebook it turned out so pretty so chunky i was able to document some important moments some special moments in there like i said earlier if you are a subscriber to studio calico's traveler's notebooks Think outside the box, make the patterns work for you. Um, it's great to be inspired by others and look at other people's spreads, but definitely um, try to make them your own. Try to make them special to your memories and your traveler's notebook. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.